Hi everyone, it is Sherry Vegas here and in this resin tutorial today we're going to be doing resin geocosis but we're going to be testing out a new style on how to do it. This has been floating all around like TikTok and Instagram, I've been seeing it everywhere. So today I thought I'd break it down for you and show you how to do it. Okay guys, so we are testing out a new technique today and I am using the epoxy cast uh, resin from Barnes, which is a two to one. I've already pre-mixed that up. So the resin is already mixed up. I've left some clear and I've colored the other parts. So I'm gonna be doing one with just alcohol inks and one with a mixture of tints and pigments just to see if there is a difference. This technique has started to really pop up on my feed. I've seen a bunch of different artists do it. One of them was like Art for Star, um, but I don't see really anyone fully explaining it. So I thought I would do that and test out whether the effect is caused by the alcohol inks and resin or whether the effect is just caused by the way that you pour it and you can use whatever colors you like. So we're gonna test out both. Now the first thing with this effect is you have to put a white down first and then all of your other colors on top of that. You also need to have clear. So that's what's something that no matter who I'm seeing doing this effect is always putting white down first and clear last and then whatever colors they want in the middle. So the white that I'm using, I've just mixed up enough and I'm just using some pinata and this I'm gonna be using for both. Now with the white, what I have seen is it's not a full opaque, so that's why I am using an alcohol ink. So less is more of the white, you just want it to kind of be sort of a really light creamy color, but not fully opaque. So a little bit translucent with the white. I think I have done a little bit too much here, so I might need to dilute it a little bit more with some resin, because it does look a little bit too opaque for my liking. Okay, so that looks a bit better. And we're just gonna make sure that that base area is fully covered. And then on top of that, I always see people do the dark, then the light color, and then the clear. So that's what we're going to do today. So the alcohol ink that I'm using for my dark is Olive from Copac. And then I'm using Pale Green from Copec for my light. And we're all just pouring it straight on the center, nothing fancy, but each one will then push out the next color. And then the very last step is the clear. So now for this one, I'm gonna be doing the exact same steps, the white down first with my two colors, the dark going first, then the light, and then the clear. The only difference with this one is I'm using a paste and a tint just to see if that changes up the effect. Oh, and the colors that I'm using is a like blue pigment paste and I have this turquoise uh, tint from Barnes. But we are getting some cool effects happening here. So the white is now pushing in to the other colors. So it'll be really cool to see what this looks like. Hopefully it works out well. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of heat just to pop any of those surface bubbles. Really light amount, cause I'm using my blowtorch just to pop them. And if you go too heavy with your blowtorch, you can damage your molds. So real quick, 
It's a colder day today, so it is coming into winter, so I have noticed that this resin feels a lot thicker than what it normally does. I probably should have given it like a little warm bath before working with it, but it'll be really interesting to see if that changes up the effects because I'm gonna do this test again with a different type of resin that's a lot more fluid and see if that affects it as well. So for this video, I really wanted to see if the pigments affected it, um, if your mold affects this effect, and if your resin will affect it. So we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it in a different resin and just see if that changes up the results. But I'm gonna give this time to do its thing and then come back and check on it. It's the next day and it's time to check my coasters. Don't worry about this part. I accidentally knocked the coaster as I was trying to clean up while it was still setting. So it's poured out of the mold. That was my mistake. And then I also did up this little one just off camera with just the leftovers from both because I was like, I don't want to waste that extra little bit of resin. So let's check out the first one. So this was the alcohol ink, um, all alcohol ink using Copec and Pinata. So this was the one that I thought I had done too much white, like made it too strong. And you can see here, I have, I still have this really cool effect. This side looks amazing as well. Um, but this side, you can see that it's just a little bit too much white. The white was too strong, which is my fault. But obviously the effect worked really well if I just didn't overpower it with white. Now this one, I did dilute the white down a bit with some more resin. So hopefully it's not as overpowering, but I can't believe I knocked it. Now I have to get cut that part off and it's probably changed the pattern slightly on this side. And so if you just take that part off, just don't think about it. I'm gonna cut that part off. This looks so incredibly cool. You can see that when I diluted down that white, it's really made a difference because that white, even though it was alcohol ink, so I accidentally put way too much in, really overpowered, but this side, it's really cool. So this was the side that there was only white alcohol ink and it was a pigment paste and a tint, neither one with alcohol ink base. And that's come out really cool. This side is super cool as well. Like, just look at that. That's what it would look like without that part, but that is, awesome i'm super happy with that and now this was the one i did off camera just with the leftovers from both pores so let's see how it went and this was not a big mold at all that kind of looks like an eye to me i think that looks really really cool so this had a bit of the green alcohol ink. There was some leftover of the blue pigment that I poured together. So both of the dark colors and then that white. So I'm gonna do this pour again, but I'm switching up the resin and I'm gonna see if that makes any difference to the patterns that are created. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the Make Art Resin, the Crystal Clast. This is a really fluid viscosity resin. So a lot more fluid than the Barnes one, which is about a medium. And I've got the exact same colors again. Everything's gonna be the exact same. The only difference this time is the resin is going to be different. Oh, there is one other difference. I have added a lot less white into this. Um, so it's not gonna be as strong as the first one, but it's still the same white alcohol ink. With this technique, there's a really fine line between having enough white and too much white. So you can see before on these previous ones, that was a lot of white. I did half of the mold full of white and now I have a cool effect on that side, but not a cool effect on this side. This one was with the white. That was too strong. I made the white very strong. And you can see that even though I didn't have a crazy amount of actual white resin, because the, the white was so pigmented, so heavy, it did leave like that line, which isn't like too bad, but it's not exactly what I wanted. And with this one where I diluted that white down a bit more, 
I got that really pretty pattern the whole way around. So you need to have enough white that it covers the surface of the bottom of your mold, but not too much white that it just completely overpowers it. In 24 hours, so it is time to check out the two new coasters, which I use the very fluid casting resin. So we'll go with the green one first. And you can see the white has sat there and I've not gotten a lot of change and movement or patterns. This side is a lot prettier, um, but on this side, the alcohol inks really haven't been able to push through to create that effect in the white. And this one is the one where I've used the pigment and the tint with the white alcohol ink. So that one was just solely alcohol inks. So this one is better. I did make a mistake when I was doing this. The dark blue pigment, I didn't mix through enough and you can see it's a bit like the pigments patchy through here. So that was my mistake because I was just two in the moment and I wasn't thinking and I poured it without really properly mixing it. I have gotten more of that effect coming through. It does look better um, and it looks really beautiful like on this side. Like that's really stunning. But let's compare these two with the fluid resin. Compare it to the Barnes resin that is more of a medium viscosity. So this was the Barnes Epoxy Casting Resin, which is a medium viscosity. And this is the Make Art Crystal Cast Resin, which is a really fluid, thin resin. And you can see the really big difference between the two. Obviously with this one, I did do a little bit too heavy handed on the white. So there is a, still a lot of white at the bottom, but you can see a really big difference, especially on that side. Like. Now let's look at our blue ones. So this was the Barnes, which is the medium. This is the makeup, which is the fluid. And I would say overall, they're pretty similar. Um, you can tell obviously with the blue that I've made that mistake, but that is me. And on this side, they're pretty similar as well. There's two different factors coming into play to create this effect. One, the resin, and second, the colors that you're using. So you can see on the first coaster that I poured that was in the medium viscosity resin that I used alcohol inks, there is a big difference between that one and the second one that I did where it's still alcohol inks, but it is in the fluid viscosity resin. And the reason behind this is alcohol inks are very light. So when they are put in the fluid viscosity resin, they are too light to create this effect because the fluid viscosity resin is too fluid but it still works in the medium viscosity resin because it can hold those pigments better, which you can see shown on the other coaster. Now with the fluid viscosity resin that I used the different pigments and tints with, the reason why that did work better over just the alcohol inks is because they have more density to them than the alcohol inks. Alcohol inks are really light, but pigments generally are heavier. So by adding a cream pigment into that fluid viscosity resin, it then allowed me to create create that effect. So overall I'd say if you want to really achieve this it doesn't really matter whether you use the fluid viscosity or you use the medium viscosity resin it comes down to the pigments. You need to make sure that your pigments that you're using or your inks have the ability to push that first layer of white away. So definitely I would include not just alcohol inks but also tints and pigments as well when you are creating these sort of designs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post new videos every single week. And I have a huge playlist on resin tutorials, so definitely I'll link them somewhere around. Definitely go and check them out if you are getting into resin and you want to get some ideas. But thank you so much for watching.